Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Let's start the incredibly self-inflating task of trying to win a second run as the Lost. Unfortunately, please mouse, can you have some respect? Um, unfortunately... Alright, we're gonna start our new Eden streak. <laughs> oh, oh well. Here we go. Eden runs. Let's get a good streak going. I've got good confidence, that was a great palate cleanser. Box of spiders. Well, we can always come back and... Oh my god, hookworm. I'm gonna drop hookworm for now. I think we also have fanny pack. We got E1KH68DH. Uh, probably contract from below. No, you know what? That is, um... That's missing page two, isn't it? Because of the extra black heart we have. And then box of spiders. Um, of course, I am disappointed as, you know, we just lost the, our chance to get a two streak as the lost. Uh, but that is the expected outcome, and also, I can't be that disappointed, I just won that lost run, like, maybe eight minutes ago. So, all in all, I'm actually still pretty much on cloud nine as a result of our, uh, earlier performance. It's a great palette cleanser to start our streak with. Let's, um, try not to take as much dumb damage as I've been taking. It's a very foreign position to be in, but it's extremely unlikely, I think, that I take damage here. Or, sorry, it's extremely unlikely that I, um... I have a run here that's as good as the run that we just had, and I mean that 100%. Despite being the lost, the last run was probably easier than the run we're about to have. Oh well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. I would rather, pardon me by the way, but I would rather have um, fantastic runs as the lost and slightly more difficult runs as characters that can actually get hit a couple of times. But that last run just goes to show you like how important damage is as a stat, right? Like, were it not for damage there, well, and, of course, the fact that we could get hit six times and still live, which we did, um, that run would have been real tough, but instead, it was actually pretty easy. Very easy, honestly. I, I was able to make stupid mistakes and still succeed, which oftentimes you cannot really do even as Isaac, depending on how your run looks, but, uh, lucky us. We gotta find the item room before we finish this one off. I'm not particularly interested in fighting our boss without having Box of Spiders, especially considering the kind of nonsense that it could contain. Hoping for some key drops. Been unfortunate enough to get a lot of golden chests, but that could be fortunate if we get like a Tammy said, Guppy said. Celtic Cross is completely acceptable. One spider. What an, what an incredible haul. Uh, I'm gonna open the golden chest. I am. I think this is the right way. Yeah, I'm gonna open the golden chest. And we got a golden key. It's very interesting. Um... We can open the other golden chest, so basically we're getting one golden chest for our key right now. And it paid out with Cricket's head. All is forgiven. We might as well also go to this room, and it ended up being a shop, which is not surprising. If we get Pageant Boy, there's a small chance we could pick up anything, like one of, one of those two items. And I would probably pick up Black Candle out of the two that are there, but I really don't expect that to happen. I would be thrilled if it did, but I doubt it will. And we're fighting the haunts, so that Cricket's head pickup is actually very stellar. That's gonna make a huge difference. And honestly, I feel like we're, we're kind of cooking with gas already here. Fantastic. Just stick with him and then let go. Immediately break. All right, now stick with him. You're gonna bob and weave. He's gonna stick with you and then you immediately leave. And then you stick with him. You stay tight. You stay bright. You stay slightly off center and then you stick with him. And we are done here. Speed upgrade is actually kind of nice. I was feeling a little sluggish there. Means no arcade chance for the next floor, but uh, that's okay. Curse of the Blind, not a huge problem. What is a potentially huge problem, it's a huge problem in waiting right now, but that can change pretty darn quickly, is uh, the fact that we have no keys as of right now. Honestly, I'm happy to get hit there. Well, that's a bit of a misnomer. I'm not happy to get hit, but I'm not expressly, ex absurdly disappointed. Um, should be okay here. Take out Mr. Blue Nub. Can't do that. Can't do anything because we have no consumables. Uh, I think our, you know, you know they do like in sports cast, they're like, the key to this game. Well, you know, it, the tenacity of the Anaheim Ducks is extremely important. No, it's like, you know, score more goals than the other team should be like number one on the list every time, right? But um, a key item for us that is not always key would be 9 volts. If we can get 9 volts, 
and as a result, thank you, uh, be able to create spiders all the time, or every single room, that makes a huge difference. Maybe I should have gone for the uh, the key that was hidden there instead of the uh, instead of the tinted rock. But we do have another bomb, so we can access the shop anyway. Now we have a key as well, so we can easily access the the, the item room either way. Let's see what we've got inside. Leech, well worth taking, but I'll admit when the question mark can be anything. I really wanted it to be like Mama's Knife or Death's Touch or something like that, but it's not, and that's okay. This is just win one of a, of a 400 win streak. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that the streak uh, is, has never ended thus far, so I'm pretty excited about that. We get Pin, our easiest possible boss, I think. Leech and Spiders are going to tear him up. If he ever pops up for more than like a quarter of a second and Leech actually pays attention, he could have completely destroyed him. Mom's heals, real bad. Uh, right item, goat head, fantastic. Even though I'm very disappointed that I will not be able to take the other item, I'm excited that we've got non-stop deals with the devil. Hopefully we pick up some HP so I can actually follow through on that. All right, let's be a little risky here. We got one bomb. Ended up like super not being worth it, but that could change in a heartbeat here. Maybe, maybe not. Um, honestly, I'm not all that perturbed to be losing a spirit heart. Because I'm hoping that we'll pick up some red hearts that we can use on our upcoming deal with the devil anyway. We do have deal with the devil precedent, which is, uh, is a very nice thing in and of itself. And I think it was worth the risk either way. But we're definitely in one of those positions where we've got a lot of like latent uh, possibilities for our future. But we lack kind of survivability at the present. We lack a lot of the present. Damage is okay, though. I'll, I'll be the first to admit that. But that's entirely Cricket's head. All we need to do is get a little bit more survivability. And then, or, you know, the other alternative is go like full lost uh, type. And uh, just get a, an unbelievable amount of damage. But that seems much less likely. Although possibly preferable. Um, that I'm, I'm in, man. One of these, uh, one of these deals with the devil is going to pay out with something fantastic. The only question is whether or not I'll be able to afford it. And it is! It's an ask, you know. You're not always going to be able to do so. I can't believe that we didn't kill the, the walking hosts here in one hit. But then we killed two of them in one hit, which is a little surprising. A little bit of a speed down, but that's alright. We can uh, absorb it right now, I think. And got another key and some spirit arts out of that. Good, 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 good. Now we have HP. Leech will fill in the holes here, and we're good to go. As long as we don't have, like, a super shitty deal with the devil on this floor, we've won. If we have a super sh uh, shitty deal with the devil on this floor, um, then we'll have to wait to declare a win until later. And I am just not at all concerned about taking damage on that with that diagonal walking. It is just, you know, par for the course now. You might think that's living dangerously. Every day, most people get themselves strapped into, you know, 2,000-pound steel chariots and hurl themselves across, across the concrete roadscape and send themselves to work, you know, at, at 100 kilometers an hour. It's like 60 miles an hour, something around there. Um, you know, I don't, I don't consider this that, uh, that wild. I should probably stop taking damage, though. You know what's wild is, you know, not having any fire insurance. What if, what if you have a fire? Something's gonna go terribly wrong. That's truly living dangerously. All right, little Chad is okay. I don't know why this is just like the archetype now. This this is how runs go. Your first deal with the devil may or may not be amazing, but no matter what, if you have Goathead, you're fighting Krampus right after that. They might as well bake that in to the description of the of the Goathead. It's like, okay, you get unlimited deals with the devil, but your next deal with the devil is Krampus. Like, apparently that's the cost. Um, I'm going to take Krampus' head over the spiders, honestly. And because we have Curse of the Lost, I'm just out. I don't want to deal with this floor anymore. I want to deal with the floor where I can actually see things. Guppy's tail. Huge help. Anytime we can get one extra item, one extra guppy item, I should say, from uh, from a non-deal with the devil source, greatly raises our chances anecdotally, I think, of uh, being able to snag a, uh, a full guppy transformation. Obviously, we do want to check out our, uh, our uh, arcade. Now that we have... 
a few more hearts. We could also go to that boss trap room. If we snag a red heart, not a red heart, a red chest on that boss trap room, that could end up meaning an awful lot. Wow, that was surprisingly fast and surprisingly excellent. So all we need to do now is come down this way, and we'll just first see what's in here. Red chest? Not red chest. That's going to make it real tough to swing. Um, I guess we'll just pick this up. Honestly, we got nothing else holding us here. We're ahead of schedule. We're, we're a lot ahead of schedule. At least for, for how far into the game we are, so... I'm, uh, I'm unconcerned for now. Oh, baby. There is no question. I will be taking both of these, and we have just won the run. And that's not even, like, being cocky. That mom's knife pickup is it almost as close to a guarantee as we can get. It, it, it completely changes the game. And, uh, definitely makes me feel not even nearly bad about the uh about the, the lost death that we had to start this like i said you know I, I really feel like we're starting off this streak on the right foot anytime you can start a streak with a lost victory it really reminds you of what it means you know you're like oh yeah it reminds you of your talents is what i guess i should say you're like oh, you know i'm uh, i'm not uh, i'm not that bad i do think that with uh mom's knife we no longer need krampus's head I really thought that would get all the golden poop, but um, yeah, we no longer need Krampus's head. We're probably faster just to use Mom's knife, and um, we're going to be able to get a, a pretty solid bit of momentum here. I don't want to say time, because then people go, oh, you're rushing through it. Northern Line, I've done the math, and if you do 31-minute long videos instead of, uh, you know, 38-minute long videos, that's an extra two videos a month, and you can pay your grocery bill with that. No, okay, we don't need to get into that. I just like the... You know, do we accuse speedrunners of that? Speedrunners will be like, I want to beat this game in 10 minutes. You're like, that's so you can get paid more! It just doesn't make any sense, man. It's just fun to go fast, you know? There's no fun in sitting around. Like, long runs can be really fun in Isaac if there's a reason they're long and it's not a frustrating reason. But the only reason for some... Well, the only common reason for something to be really long in Isaac is you have no damage. Or you have, like, the world's worst sense of direction, even worse than my own, and you're on, like, a Curse of the Lost floor or something like that. But apart from that, you know, it's, your, your speed pretty much directly correlates to your damage, which pretty much directly correlates to fun most of the time. Although there are slow runs that are fun as well. They're just, they're a little bit of a minority, I think. I really wish that that was a spirit heart, so we could take that deal, but then I remember that we've already taken these deals, so sucks to your Asmar, we're moving on. Not really thrilled about the fact that I've... Ooh, that is okay. Not really thrilled about the fact that I've taken more damage than I've gained since the, uh... since the discovery of Mom's Knife here. I just want those bombs. It's not a big deal. Two of Hearts is meaningless. Uh, this may not be meaningless. I would love to pick up a, um... an HP here. Not really concerned about Polaroid Invincibility as much as Survival, so I think this is valuable. And we got a really, really, really great chance of getting an item from Boss Rush and then dipping out, so... Fantastic. So many times you're gonna get HP there, obviously. Um, all we need to do... There we go. All we need to do is... Um, use Hagala's Room... Or Hagala's Rune on a room... With a lot of skulls, which there should be several of down here in Necropolis. Might as well take the pill. Full health, good to know. We're not the lost anymore, so we can actually make benefit of that. That was absolutely god-awful. Red hearts. Making me wish that we get Dark Bum, but if I had to rank, like, the items that I want... Let's say, like, let's exempt Brimstone, even though I would love it just because its synergy is hilarious, but, um, oh my god. It's, like, exclusively paying out with, uh, with, uh, playing cards, which is great because, like, I mean, the Joker is, like, a free deal with the Devil later, but, no, it's actually a teleport card out of our boss rush, too, if we want it to be, but, um, yeah, let's exempt Brimstone. Number one thing is Guppy, then it would be, like, defensive items. Like, I would love to get, uh, Dark Bomb. It would pretty much guarantee us a win. Do we have anything over here? I mean, we could blow these up. Chance to get dry, baby. I think we might as well at least blow up one set. Got a sun card. Honestly, we have... It's not even a contest. We have to take the Joker card with us, so... 
We'll use the sun card just to hurt some enemies. We already can see absolutely everything. We don't need the mapping at all. And honestly, just terrible damage. I'm not very proud of myself about it. But it is it is what it is. I'm taking it. I can't deny it. How fitting after a, uh, after a pretty darn good lost run to now be coming at this with stupid damage. Maybe it's like, you know, if you never experience like partying when you go to college you go you go crazy you go oh well, you know I've got newfound adult uh, responsibilities or privileges and you you abuse them a little bit I don't know maybe that's how it is there's some psychology in it that is that is beyond my feeble brain why am I not using this did I have the opportunity to use that forever and chose not to use it this is not very intelligent of me Unfortunately, telepills is real bad, but I, well, for us when we already have a better teleport, a more constructive teleport to be used on the next floor even. So um, we'll just keep Joker. Don't really want to do that, unfortunately. Good. Plenty of time. We're making great time. Fight against the bloat is fantastic. We just baited him at first and then the fight is already over. More question marks for me. This one is HP and dark matter. Um, it's plus one damage, so it's not insignificant. Fear Shot sucks, but the extra damage that we have is awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'm not displeased. How could I be? Yo, yeah, Leech, you're a good guy. I'm gonna help you out. Uh, we don't have Curse of the Blind, right? No, this is just a, a rare, non-cursed, boss rush-capable floor. I'm excited. We can get into that boss trap room. Might be uh, one of our few chances, unfortunately, to get a, uh, a guppy item. Not that I'm complaining about this run, but it would be nice to maybe get a little bit more juiced up from a guppy perspective here. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Joker. Joker's great. Credit card. Credit card's also great. Like, I understand the value of both of these, but I don't know. I guess we, we should take credit card. And go to our shop, because we can't really take credit card into a deal with the devil and then find a way to, to make it back, you know? We can't, we can't get both of them forever, I think, is my perspective at least. Um, I will blow this up, some more spirit arts would be nice. One is some, and this will be a lot of money, which now means that there's just like absolutely no reason for us to even need the credit card. Except to save money, which we should, but also kind of like, what's the what's the point? I'm just keep walking back in and out there to be like, is there a deal with the devil in there? Or not a deal with the devil, but a tinted rock. And there's not. So I'm losing my mind. We're making great time. That's, that's the most important thing. Okay, well, we know there's not going to be greed on our shop. And we get enough money to buy any two items from the shop. And now it's like, come on, who are we trying to impress by using... Uh, by using credit card. You might say, use credit cards so you can get a free deal with the devil. That's not a... That's not a valueless option. However, we really need our Joker card to get into Boss Rush and get out. And we can only take one of them into the deal with the devil with us. So, what do we take? And instead, I just ignored the shop and went to uh, the item room instead. Where we got Concussive Tears. It's okay, is basically the way I'd describe that. It's, it's probably not as good as if I had the... Wherewithal to go to the shop instead, but I like my item rooms. I'll, I'll be the first to tell you that that was probably not a, a smart decision, though. Would have been better for me to just uh, go to the shop first. Probably could have bought a key on it anyway, especially because I know there was no greed in it. That was a very poor decision. Alright. We made it across. It was a little close, closer than I would have liked, but it's okay. Feet? No feet? There we go. Finish the job. This is important. No curse of the blind. We take the Polaroid. We're starting the streak off right. Um, we don't want any of those. At least we don't want any of them that much. We we would love Polyphemus. Now, my thinking here is we should do Boss Rush. Because we just picked up, like, the best item for Mom's Knife. We may take some damage in the process. If we're about to die, just teleport out. But I really hope we don't approach that moment where we're about to die. Because every boss is going to be killed in one hit. Really, just stay stay focused here. It's extremely important that we leave this with some HP. But if we do, we're we're unkillable. Well, we're not unkillable. But we're we're definitely stronger than any enemy we're going to come across. 
Yo, what is going on here, though? Oh, crap. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Okay, be smart. This is actually scaring the shit out of me. Thank God we didn't take a deal with the devil. Although, if we teleport it out, with, with one spirit heart left, we could take the nail. But we don't really want to take the nail, because we already have the crystal ball, which is like a better version of the nail. Except, I gotta say, the crystal ball has not really held it down with respect to its, uh, its options so far. A lot of, uh, a lot of non-spirit hearts. These bombs are scaring the shit out of me. Be cool. That's the one that just spawns enemies. Great, we got him. Okay, there's like so much riffraff. We're getting close to it. Like, we're, we're past like the second era of enemies here. The real problem on this run is uh, just the lack of range. But if you just get over that... There's nothing stopping us from blowing the doors off, having the best run of all time here. But it is true glass cannon style. It's amazing how much different this run would look with like one spirit heart from the shop. Don't shoot at me with your homing tears. Good. Okay. No. This is a spirit heart. Yes! Huge get for us there. I lost half of it immediately, but that makes a big difference nonetheless. The Fallen is dead. Long live the Fallen. Great. Great. Okay. And we got Magic Fingers. I almost feel like we take Magic Fingers because every spacebar play is going to be incredible for us. I actually am going to do this even though it seems ridiculous. Let's do this. But we're going to be so low on Spirit Arts, but we're going to kill things so quickly. It's interesting. Let's just put it that way. One spacebar play... Should kill full rooms. It didn't quite kill Sloth, I'll give you that. Emperor. Also very interesting. Not gonna dispute that. Still would like some some small rocks if possible. That is not balls of steel. Not small rocks, tinted rocks. One of these days I'll nail my diction perfectly. Might as well blow this up. I was a little wary because we have so few bombs, but... Well worth it. At least, you know, honestly, it was. I'm just being a little bit of an asshole, but uh, would have would have liked a little bit more out of it. At least we've learned that Lemon Party is in our rotation. That's like the obvious choice there. Tears up should help our range slightly by lowering our charge time to get to max range. Four cents to kill Fistula is just majestic. Beautiful. Now if we could just get some range upgrades. Um, I'd be a little bit less worried about the lack of HP that we have. Still pretty worried about the lack of HP we have, but at least a little bit less so. Um, let's wedge ourselves back here. If there was any time for you to actually pay out with HP like you always do when I don't want you to, it would be now. Honestly, very much appreciated. We could play the Demon Judgment. Can I ask another uncomfortable question? Where's our keys? Like, that's kind of a, a, a compelling draw for me right now, is having some extra keys. That Thank you. Yeah, I know we have contract from below, so it's pretty easy for us to get enough to open all the chests on the chest, but I was getting a little scared that they hadn't showed up yet. Okay, this is an important moment for us. The bloats will be dead in no time flat. And the deal. The deal is incredible here. Shot speed could help, actually. And, I mean, we get Satanic Bible. It's really interesting, but I'm kind of liking what we've already got going. I mean, I, I passed up a chance to take the nail, so why don't we pass up that chance as well? Basically, I'm playing 100% with fire right now, and I'm excited to be doing so. Getting Starting to get a little bit lower on the financial side of things. Can't believe that took two plays. If that is that where we're at on this run? We're at the point where I'm going to be incredulous about the fact that it took me two presses of the space bar to kill some enemies that otherwise would have been very annoying. Because I'm really digging this press space bar once and uh, kill everything on the screen uh, gamut that we're running right now. I don't know if that's the proper use of gamut, but I'm going to use it like that. 
30 rooms carries us a long way. Uh, there is a tinted rock up there, all right. And I know some people are gonna be like, oh my god, you should have taken the crystal ball. Obviously our damage with Mom's Knife and Polyphemus is great, and having some extra defense would have been, you know, probably a run winner. But you gotta admit that this is pretty fun as well. This is like one of the most ridiculous uh, Magic Fingers run I've ever seen. Like mathematically. I don't know how much better it can get. Now the curse room is just not something I'm interested in. Another double key drop could start a snowball effect that might make me interested in it if we got enough spirit hearts though. So we spend like 11 cents on this floor. We are starting to run out a little bit and that's... That's not something I'm too interested in, so if we could just kill Mom's heart the old-fashioned way, that would be ideal, I think, and it's over. <laughs> well, uh, I was a little premature there, but still. Now we use the Joker card immediately on the next floor, and there should be a pretty good chance for us to pull out, you know, tease out something beautiful. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And I hate myself for doing it, but I'm gonna do it. We have the Polaroids, so it's going to take a little bit longer. I have to see how much damage Magic Fingers will do. I'm doing this, by the way, not under any illusion that this is the quote-unquote wrong decision and has a great chance to get us killed, and I mean that sincerely. This may kill us, but I'm, you know, when you're close to the sun, you gotta see if it's gonna burn you, baby. That's my thinking right now. We gotta see, we gotta see just how hot that baby burns. I don't know, that sentence came out very uncomfortably. No. This is... I know... If you call me a, a slang term for a vagine because of the way that I handled that room, you are very short-sighted. This is a once-in-a-lifetime situation here. I cannot walk on spikes. This is actually extremely scary. We only have eight cents left. We should actually reroll our whole run. That's where we're at. We're in a position where we should reroll our whole run. It's actually... We've created a run... I want you to take a moment to let this absurdity sink in. We've created a run where the most sensible choice for survival is to reroll the strongest item combination I've ever had. For a joke. That's where we're at. This is what our life is like right now. Um, I'm, I'm not scared right now. There's no chance we get hit on Isaac unless we want to get hit on Isaac. Also, my keyboard's acting up a little bit and it's scaring the shit out of me. But, um, sincerely, we're still overpowered. But, that can change in a single hit. We have basically created the Lost again. We got Ipecac. I'm not taking my best friend because honestly I don't trust her right now. That guy could have killed us. No question. That guy could have killed us. No question. I just want to point out, like, thank you for not giving me any HP. Like, I don't, I don't want the, <laughs> I don't want things to get too easy here. Let's make sure we get bombs. That should be a big upgrade for us, I think, if we get some extra bombs on this run. Mostly, I've got to admit, I'm trying to save money. I'm like, well, we gotta save our, um, gotta save our uh, magic fingers plays for rooms that we might not survive on. Flush is obviously terrible. Um, we'll take Cursed Eye because it's ridiculous, and we're just going for full ridiculous, apparently. Should not take damage on this room. That's what I'm looking for right there. A very brief opening for us to sneak in and get the knife out. Don't jump on me. <laughs> I was very nervous. Why on earth? Like, here's... I'll, I'll walk you through the steps of this run. It was... Well, this is an easy win. I'm out of money. Oh, God. Oh, okay. It was, well, this is an easy win, followed by, let's, like, this is too easy, in a way. Let's mix it up. Let's make this difficult on ourselves. And that's exactly what we've done, and honestly, I'm very proud of it. I, I take pride in the, in the fact that we nutted up and, and went buck wild on this run. I will say, um, I'm a little anxious. But I'm not, like, if, if I lose this run, I'm still going to consider it a success because it's exactly what I wanted out of it. How can I say that it's not, right? This is just a ridiculous run. That could have been bad. Um, and I'm, I'm so happy that it's turned out as ridiculous as it could have. 
All the damage upgrades, none of the HP. All killer, no filler, man. And if we succeed, and it's a big if, that's an incredible uh, thing in our uh, uh, feather in our cap, I think. I think we've done it. Holy crap. A little scary. That's our first win. That's the way you started off with a bang. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.